Good morning, awesome people. I hope we are all doing good. Happy Thursday. There are really things going on on this planet. There's so many things that are happening to, you know, people in real time. Some very sad, but at the end of the day, we just have lessons to learn from these things here. This morning, I was busy, you know, having my fields day on social media. And I came across a story, which... I'm still trying to wrap my head around and I just wanted to ask my Facebook family what you would do in this situation. There's a guy who met a beautiful lady in Europe. They dated for some time. She's now pregnant and the guy has decided to go back home, introduce this girl to his family, meet the girl's family, do the necessary things that have to be done and then they can get married. He goes, he meets the, the bride's family and all of this. Now takes the girl to his, his own home to introduce to his parents. As soon as the girl sets eyes on the boy's dad, she runs off. Only to go around convoluted story to find out that the girl had dated her boyfriend, her fiancé, her husband-to-be's dad many years ago when she was younger. She was a side chick to this same boy's dad many years back to the point of breaking up the marriage between her husband-to-be's parents, the father and mother. They broke up because the father cheated on the mother with this same woman that he is now proposing to marry who is pregnant for him. It doesn't end there. That relationship, that side chick and old papa relationship that the two of them had done in the past, the boy's dad and the same girl had done in the past, had actually resulted in the girl having a child with this boy's dad that she had hidden from the husband-to-be. She never told him that she had had a child before. She never told him anything about what she had done prior to meeting him. Now, this girl is pregnant for her husband-to-be. Now, she has also had a child with the husband-to-be's dad. What a mess. What would you do if you were the man? What would you do? What would you advise this young man to do? And when you think critically about it, the child that this girl had with her father is now a half-brother to her husband-to-be. That same child will now also be a half-sister or brother to the baby that she's carrying. And that child is supposed to be this new guy's son or daughter. What a mess. Some of the things that we do in the past, some of the decisions that we make in our lives, little did we know that they will come back to bite us in real time when we least expect it to. It is important as men and women that we live lives that we can be proud of. Because the decisions that we make today inform the things that happen to us in the future. Thank you so much, Davia, for your stars. I see you. Good morning to everybody on this platform. I love you so much. Thank you for your support, your kindness, your stars, sharing videos, commenting. Ah, oh, I have a really highly engaged family. On this platform and I love the socks of every single one of you what would you do if this guy was your brother what would you advise that he does God bless you I love you so much what would you do if you were in his shoes you see there's certain things that you can't conceal you can't hide certain facts of your life when you are getting ready to get into a relationship with somebody. Hello, my brother, my big brother, Martin. How are you doing? 
when you're getting married, if you want to get married to somebody, there's certain things that you can't hide. Always tell the truth about your own life. If the person wants you enough, they would understand. And the two of you can move forward. If you know you have certain illnesses that are going to be an issue. For example, you're sick, you have sickle cell anemia. That's something that you can't hide. <laughs> Your partner needs to know about that. If you know that you've had any venereal disease, STDs, you can't hide that neither. Your partner needs to know. If you're HIV positive, you need to tell your partner that this is my situation. If for whatever reason, you know that you have issues and because of those, you can't have children, whether you're a man or a woman, it doesn't really matter. Infertility happens to everybody. You need to let the other side know, hey, this is my reality. If you know you want to have children, I'm not the girl or guy for you. Go find somebody else. But if you're happy for us to share a life together, children or no children, <laughs> then let's rumble. Then you've, you've spoken the truth. It's all out there. The person can make a decision about what they want to do. And nobody can blame you for not telling them the truth. As simple as that. Number three. If you've had children from a previous relationship or relationships, children are not something that you can hide. Let your partner know. When I was younger, I dated somebody. I had a child out of wedlock or I was married before. And hmm, the biggest one, some people get engaged or even married to people that they didn't love. They're not interested for whatever reason. But the fact is you're married. <laughs> Disclose that marriage of yours. Yeah to that person that wants to marry you. Go and end things. Close one door. Shut all the windows. You can't be married to two people at the same time. It's bigamy and it's a crime. And when you do that, especially when you've done ordinance marriage in most cultures with the first person, anything you do after that is null and void. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't hold water. It's not going anywhere until the first marriage is wholly dissolved, divorced, done deal. Don't think that because you left that marriage for 10 years, oh, you haven't consummated the marriage. It means it's over. There was never anything, a notice of dissolution of the marriage. So technically, you're still married. You may still be separated for many years. It doesn't make the marriage null and void. You are still a married man or woman. Understand that. Don't bite your nose to spite your face. I always tell my younger brothers and sisters in this life, always make decisions that make sense. And remember <laughs> that people always go back to judge you based on the life that you led back in the day. If you look back on yourself and you know it's nothing to be proud of. That is going to stop you from certain opportunities that you could have had. Was the decision worth it? Was the decision, was it worth it? There's so many things that are driving people these days to do all these horrific things. The top of that list is poverty and people wanting to have things that they are they know within their their minds that they haven't gotten to that point yet and you know people think that venereal diseases now have cures and so you know you can just live your life anyhow go and ask anybody who has hiv or has to live with hiv what it actually entails how frail and fragile the immune system is and how they catch anything going. Because the immunity is just simply not there anymore. Go and ask anybody who has had hepatitis B especially. That is ruining their liver. 
that you only have one of and let them tell you whether it was really worth it. I watched a certain documentary recently and the statistics are showing that HIV is slowly creeping up in West Africa, in Ghana especially. More people, 19% of the population today, are HIV positive. It's not a statistic they're supposed to be laughed at. It's not funny. That means two out of every 10 people walking out the street now <laughs> is carrying it. So before you start taking your dinglings and opening your apples, think critically about what you're doing and ask yourself the question. Is five minutes of pleasure worth me wasting and living a whole completely different life? Can I even afford what it takes to keep the HIV from becoming full-blown AIDS? It is still real. It's still happening. So don't think that all oh, there's retroviral drugs, you know, the things that people take. Yeah, that's silly talk. Go and ask the people who have to live with that reality and let them tell you whether it's funny or not. Is it not better to not have any illness at all and live a free life? Why can't we just be disciplined as a people and do what is right? Must you sleep with every man or woman down the street? Do you not have the power of self-control and discernment? Is it everything that you see that meets the eye that you should have when you don't even know what is behind the wall? As one of my dads would say, think critically about the decisions that you make in this life because they always, always have consequences. I'm going to leave this one here and ask you, what do you advise this man to do? Should, she take the, should he accept this child? It's definitely his. Should he take the child and go live his life? What should he do? Please advise. A word to the wise is enough. I'll leave this one here. God bless you. Happy Thursday, everybody. Take care. And remember, everything that you do in this life has a consequence. If you want it to be a consequence that you can be proud of, take the right decisions. I love you. Bye-bye.